Hope everybody's doing okay. Thought we'd try something a little bit different today. Uh, welcome to uh, uh, my live sketch session over here on my YouTube channel. Uh, I thought it would be pretty cool to try something a little bit different. And I appreciate those of you stopping by or interested to see what's going on with the channel. And uh, thanks for stopping by. Cool. Just making sure we got some audio here and everything's rocking and rolling. Good stuff. Good stuff. Cool. Well, let's see uh, what we got going on right now. Um, so let's just kick it off. Hey friends, welcome to the live sketch session. I've had a, a lot of you uh, ask me, um, hey, listen, Polly, uh, we'd like you to um, do some live sessions over here and just do some traditional uh, artwork. Um, we usually see you work digitally, let's see, uh, you know, and see what you do traditionally in terms of uh, pens and how you're working. Um, I created this channel uh, over a half year ago, and uh, this channel is uh, dedicated uh, to visual storytellers, but I think uh, any good visual storyteller needs to be able to um, have a really great drawing regimen and uh, practice all the time and, and practice your sketching. I think it is so important to practice your sketching and uh, just doodle and just have some fun whether you're uh you know sketching this sketchbook sketching on paper i think as a story artist and visual storyteller you need to hone in on your craft all the time so i thought i'd take the time i had a little bit of time this afternoon um hopefully to reach some other people uh and uh do a little bit of a, a sort of a, a live sketch session with you friends and just sort of hang out and draw and if you didn't have time to join me i hope you're watching this on the replay I know I don't have my face showing usually most of my videos I have my face showing uh, trying to do something a little bit different with my camera system so we could at least try this out and uh, see how this would work in terms of uh, drawing traditionally and sort of having fun with that um, like I said I have a drawing regimen I do every single day um, I'll either draw uh, with pens or I'll draw with a pencil but it's usually pens most of the time and I'll explain why I like drawing with pens in just a second but uh, I really appreciate you taking the time out of your busy day uh, to watch this live stream or participate here live if somebody pops in I'll say hi uh, I'm just gonna go for it and just uh, continue drawing sort of live here as we're working and uh, hopefully for those of you watching this on the replay, uh, you can sort of see traditionally how I sort of work, uh, how I have set up, um, what pens am I using, and uh, we're going to do a, go ahead and do some sketching and drawing together. If you like what you see, uh, please consider subscribing to the uh, channel um, and uh, smash that uh that bell notification button uh, lets you know uh, the next time I have a live stream. I come to you three days a week, and uh, that'll just notify you when uh, I'm coming out to you. It's usually Mondays, Thursdays, and Fridays. Uh, I'm trying a little bit something different as sort of a test run today to see if people enjoy the, uh, li a lot of folks like the uh, shorts, uh, but I wanted to see um, how folks liked uh, just doing a live session here and just sketching and sketching traditionally. So I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm excited to be with you and hanging out with you and spending a little bit of time. If you happen to jump on and you see this live, go ahead and say hi in the uh, chat. Love to know that you're there with me uh, because I, I know you can't see my face. I'm sort of more of a voiceover. I'm working. I just sort of have a camera set up system like here so we could sort of work traditionally together. So, um, again, let's get going and talk about the tools I usually use, uh, you know, when I'm drawing and how I, how I draw. You know, a lot of the times I, I'm drawing in a sketchbook. Uh, I like these, uh, these Canson uh, hardback sketchbooks. I, I think they're lots of fun. I, I enjoy working with them. Uh, you know, if, if I'm doing cartooning and things like that, uh, I, I think they're, they're, they're lots of fun. Um, and uh, I, I tend to uh, use these sort of to, 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 to uh, collect my, my images and what I'm, what I'm working on and, and having some fun. And, uh, you know, uh, this, this stuff is old, but uh, it sort of gives you an idea of uh, some of the sketching, you know, from the past. But when I'm working today, I love working um, 
kind of just copy paper, you know, and and just enjoy it. And uh, there's, I, I think it's important when you're uh, you're practicing, um, use tools like pens. I, I think pen pens are key. I, I, I think uh, they're key for me. Um, I like I like them um, in terms of uh, how how I draw. Um, let me use a, a thicker marker here so we can see what we're doing here. Um, I tend to use um, you know from from the the markers I use. I, I tend to do all my line art uh, with a pen like this. Um, this pen is, is just pretty much. This is just a. Uh, you know, a Pilot uh, G2 pen, uh, you know, let's just say Pilot. G2, or if you, if you need to, and all you have is a, uh, you know, the other one I use a lot too, is just a Bic pen, just simple. It's a, it's a, you know, nothing fancy. It's just a Bic pen. I use this type of pen for my line art and just have fun with it. Um, if I'm trying to do some, uh, I, I'll use a, um, you know, a fine point. Sharpie like this. I'll use that for um, some, some uh, shadow. I'll use that for shadow. Okay. And then um, I'll use my, uh, my chisel. Um, Uh, for those thick shadows Just fun I do and uh, You know just having fun with this and I'll use that for that um, In terms of uh, what I'm doing and then another thing I'll use is I'll just use a Copic uh, Just just for tones And those are the those are the main pens that I'm going to use in my arsenal uh, in terms of uh, what I'm doing, how I draw. So, um, like I said, let me highlight this pens. Our key, you know, I just, I think, I think it's so important, you know, and why do I use a pen? I love using pens because um, you have to be committed to your line. When you draw a line with a pen, there's no erasing, uh, you know, uh, we're not fumbling around with an eraser. We're, we're not sitting there with a, with a pencil, uh, sitting there doodling a lot and stuff like that. We have to be exact in terms of what we're doing, how we're doing it. There's no erasing. You just lay down that line and that's the way it goes. So I wanted to do this uh, particular live stream. I don't usually live stream at this time, but I wanted to reach some some friends out there that I don't usually get to reach with. I got Ronnie. Hey, Ronnie, what's going on? How you doing over there? Um, Ronnie says, hey, Polly, didn't expect to see you streaming, especially so early. Yeah, not a problem. Yeah, I was just... Uh, I had a few moments, and I had a lot of you friends out there say, hey, Polly, um, I want to see you work traditionally. I want to see how you sketch, how do you practice. And uh, before I got into a little practice session, I was going to sketch with you friends out there so you could sort of see what I'm doing, how I do it, and uh, why I do what I'm doing when you're practicing. So this is my uh, first live sketching session here. Uh, if you guys like this, and I see a lot of viewings on this particular um live stream I would be happy to to continue this process with you and sort of show you you know there's no digital fanfare there's no fancy stuff uh, there's no uh, Photoshop filters or you know blurs or anything this is hardcore just drawing and working on your drawing skills again uh, pens are my friend over here um, like I said I use the Copic for tones I use the uh, line art I use either a big pen or a G2 pen uh, and then I use my Sharpie fine point for some shadows. And then um, I use my chisel marker just for some dark shadows and stuff. So got a lot of people dropping in. Hey, what's up, everybody? So um, Ronnie was saying, I love watching the traditional drawings. Super cool. I love it too. Uh, and then uh, I got my buddy Laura and Buddha Belle. Hey, Polly, I finally understand committing to the line and see the difference. Um, I have I have commitment issues. 
<laughs> Good stuff. Love it. Um, you know, uh, just and again, uh, thanks for the coffees, Lauren. Appreciate it. Uh, Lauren was the first person to tip me a cup of coffees and super appreciate uh, you supporting me and supporting the channel and uh, sincerely appreciate you, Lauren. So thanks so much. You got a great sense of humor, too. I love it. So, yeah got to be committed to your lines you got to be able to to put that practice in and uh, i hope everybody's getting a lot out of today's lessons so let's sort of give a quick example of why i select pens and why do i use pens these aren't even fancy pens these are pens you can buy anywhere you can get it at the dollar tree store you can get it at the walmart you can get it on amazon or somebody you know these are just simple pens friends this is just a sharpie and i don't really even care because a lot of you see me i use uh sometimes i'll use just highlighters and things like that to get some different colors man i don't care what you're drawing with i just tend to draw with a pen uh because i can be more uh like lauren said committed to my line so awesome stuff awesome sauce um let's draw a little bit and let me show you the difference uh let me move my pens over here Get this over to the side and uh, let's get some uh, pages here and I know yeah I know that the uh, the uh, everything bleeds through too so let's just sort of do it like this so I can reuse that one page and stuff okay so when I'm drawing you know and we're, we're talking about the difference between you know let's let's go let's let's do it like this okay here's your here's your school number two hp pencil let's go pencil if you can read this okay so and we're, we're talking about the difference between pencil let's put an eraser right there to remind us of our eraser and then um let's uh go pen in terms of how we're drawing and then let's uh let's even this up let's, let's do the taste test like that and uh, let's just say versus boop, boop, ba -doo, ba -doo. so we're sort of looking at pen uh verse pencil and, and, and both are cool uh both work really well um if i'm drawing with a pencil i, I have this simple just pentel 0.7 millimeter uh, p207 pencil a lot of people ask me what i use if i'm drawing with pencil i'll use a mechanical pencil a number two hb pencil and i have my eraser that, that's sort of what i use and uh, let, let's sort of draw the same image and uh, let's just do, do the pepsi uh, coca-cola challenge here so i'm gonna leave my eraser there move that off there and uh you know just sort of have some fun with this i'm just going to sort of draw real quick and uh Get situated here i got my buddy blissful soul what's going on how you doing glad i could catch a uh, catch a sketch session yeah I, I thought i'd just try this out see how this works if you got this i'll try to to, to figure out when we could do these things so i'm going to draw this the same sketch real quick and you can sort of see this sort of the, the process a little bit in, in terms of you know why do you do what you do what, what's going on you know and uh sort of sort of work on this a little bit you know and what i find is when you're when you're drawing with a pencil let's just draw the same i, I like the way that a pencil feels too you know in term in terms of uh the way you're working and stuff and if i'm just drawing and sketching and just sort of hanging out I'm just drawing sort of a villainous face here. We're going to draw it in pencil and we're going to draw it in, in, in pen as well. Let me just go up here a little bit so we can see this in terms of what we're doing here. And this is the, the pen versus pencil challenge. And I'm just going to sort of draw here a little bit. And I'm going to draw, I just, I just think it, you just, it just, feels like to me that you just you noodle a lot more so if i'm just drawing a sketch of a face or whatever it might be it just seems like i can noodle this a little bit more it's not that, that it's a bad thing and if you all you can do is sketch with a pencil hey that's cool too i'm not gonna knock it for you or anything i'm just sort of 
we're talking about practicing and drawing those images and I'm going to sort of draw the same image with both these things here. And you can sort of see the image sort of come alive here. Just like I said, I guess I'm drawing some sort of crazy man. That's cool. And you can sort of see that image sort of coming alive and then uh, we want him to be sort of crazy because it's just it just seems like it's more work to do it we get more sketchy if we make a mistake we can change it up a little bit too let's get a more evil looking make it either you know, shade in with the, the mechanical pencil like I'm doing right now, or um, I can go and just use my my pencil like this just to get my black lines in there. There's a few different ways we can do this. crazy guy going on here in terms of what we're doing but what I find with this this just gives you a it's just a lot more work I don't know with pencil and and I can do all sorts of stuff and if there's like like if I don't like this line over there, I can just go and erase that and get rid of that. It, it's just, you know, that, that type of system in terms of what I'm doing. And yeah, pencils do give you like a certain look in terms of uh, what you're doing and how you're doing it, which is cool. Um, I tend to, to wipe my hand all the time. So uh, I usually have my... <laughs> The pencil lead on my my, my 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 the edge of my finger every time I'm working. I was always taught in art class, you know, to sort of use it like this, and so I can keep that finger from rubbing everywhere. But also, too, pencil's cool because you you, you can do some stuff with it and add some shadow. You know, I just think there's certain things you can do with it that you can't do normally. But that that that's just that's what we have cooking there. Blissful Soul says, how are you this evening? I just did some urban sketching. It was kind of fun to sketch outside. Yeah, maybe that's one of the things we'll, we'll do too is we'll, we'll sketch outside and have some fun and uh, work like that too. Um, but yeah, I'm glad you're going out there sketching Blissful Soul. I think it is so important to sketch. Uh, sort of drinking my coffee here at the same time as I'm talking to you guys. Um, uh, yeah, I, th I think having your uh, your sketchbook out, you doing some uh, plein air painting or out there sketching, uh, just get that practice in. Even if you're just hanging out at a restaurant or a, a coffee shop or something, having your coffee, um, go and uh, sketch it as as much as you can. Um, it's just it's 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 food for your work and as a, as a visual storyteller, it's something we want to practice on all the time. But we're sort of doing the test here between pencil and pen. So let me take a sip of my drink here and let's draw the same image again, but let's do it in pen. Okay. So um, I'm just going to move this guy's head here. I'm just going to, because what ends up happening is I sit there and I rub all over it because I'm just sort of heavy handed that way. But let's, let's try to, well, let's just leave him like that. And let's just sort of, I don't want to wait. Let's, yeah, go for it. Whatever. Uh, if I wipe on it, it's cool. Um, let's go ahead and again with the uh, the pen versus uh, pencil. Uh, let me draw the same image and just with a pen and sort of show you uh, how you have to be more committed to to your lines in terms of uh, what which what, what you're doing there and uh, how to how to do it. You know, when you lay it down, there is no sketching. You have to. If I'm going to draw the nose, I have to sort of be committed to that that nose and sort of what I'm doing you know and with the, the, the mouth 
I have to um, pretty much just be uh, committed to that. You know, there is no, I shouldn't say there are no, pretty much just committed to, to what you're doing. And when I'm drawing, I'm just like, when you lie this, lay those lines down, you're like, oh, that's, that's, that's the way it's going to be. <laughs> Can't really uh, change it, uh, you know, too, too much. You could keep it sketchy or just have a certain line that you're... You're, you're laying down there in terms of uh, what, what, what you're doing there, or however you're doing it. Let's go back. Crazy. You can sort of see the difference between uh, a pen and working with a uh, pencil in uh, terms of uh, what we're what we're doing here. So one of the things I always do is with with a pen, I'll use my fine pen. Oops, I can't read that; it's too high up. I'll use this pen for my basic line art. And then I can come through, use the Sharpie, and then just start adding those little bits. Of color. I, I just tend to, to like to work this way between a, a pencil drawing and this drawing here. Appreciate everybody hanging out, man. It's, it's so cool that you guys are able to jump on. I was just sort of doing this impromptu. Just wanted to try it out and uh, see what see what we could do with this. And uh, if we're enjoying it, maybe we'll do this again. Okay. And uh, you just let me know. I'm doing it for you folks. So I just want to make sure I got some value for you and that you're learning all the time and you're practicing and honing in and you know, inspired to do this work. You know, being a storyboard artist or just being a, a, a visual storyteller is a, a difficult job, you know? And we're being asked to draw stuff all the time. And I, I don't care what pro you're talking to. You just gotta be ready to rock and roll at any time and get that call. And I'm talking to a lot of my pro buddies and they're just like, hey, listen, you know, just got this call. They want this thing at the last minute. You know, can, you know, just having a difficult time to get that done. Just the time is it's difficult. You know, so these are some, uh, like I said, these are some uh, tips and tricks. You know that I work with. You know, so if I'm trying to draw quickly and uh, efficiently to get stuff knocked out real quick. Let's get some hair in there. And you could sort of see how, how, how much quicker you could work like this too. Cool. Appreciate everybody jumping in, man. I'm so impressed that so many people want to jump in and watch this. You know, we're just right now for you guys just jumping on, we're just showing that the, the difference between drawing with a pen and drawing with a pencil and sort of showing the difference sort of somewhat drawing the same image. So if I'm drawing a, you know, a, an image like this here on the right, and I'm using my um, regular fine tip Sharpie there, I'm, I might come back in with, with a, a thicker marker and just work, work like that, you know.
it just lays it down and it works like that. You know, so if I'm drawing that same image, it's just you have to be like we're I was joking around with Lauren, it's like you have to be committed to the line. You gotta put the line down, have some fun with it. If you're trying to do get really crazy then then I can add some uh you know craziness to those guys. You know, I idea here or whatever. So just drawing traditionally, let's see what else. Uh, I'm trying to go back and forth to the comments that people are leaving comments. Uh, Buddha Belly uh, was just saying, I was uh, I was just watching Oak Island and working on my storyboard. Glad you came on to, uh, of course, of course. I love that Oak Island that's up here in Nova Scotia. Is that, are you talking about the Curse of Oak Island? Oh man, I love that show. <laughs> I invested so many times, uh, so much time into so many seasons. Hope that's what you're watching cool show but i'm glad you're working on your boards lauren and then akeem morrison what's going on akeem uh happy you could join the chat uh i started drawing with the pen last month so still practicing with the pencil too but i love how confident and clean my line work uh my lines are and it is so true you sit there and you're you're working with a, a pencil you know with our pencil verse pen little session here there, there's a lot you can do with a, a pencil and uh, but you get sort of that noodly, and I, I sort of think with a, a pencil you get too noodly, and then with a pen I could be like straight to the point, confident. It pops out a little bit more in terms of what I'm doing because I gotta add a lot of graphite to get these really, really you know dark colors around the eye. And it's like uh, I remember being in art class and just like having to really push that pencil down just to get, and it still doesn't show up that dark. So cool, but I'm super happy for you, Akeem. Keep drawing, my friend. Keep drawing every single day, uh, whenever you get a free chance, even if it's five minutes. Draw something. And then Ronnie says, I'd like to see more of these streams, especially around this time, if possible. I'm usually practicing around that time. What time is it over here? It's almost six o'clock p.m. Let me just write that down. Six p.m. Uh, I just wanted to try it out. I was sitting there. Uh, I had some time off. My wife. Uh, we were working together, making dinner, and I said, well, hey, listen, I'm going to go do a quick live stream. Are you cool with that? And she's like, yeah, go up there, and, you know, help some folks out. So I said, okay, cool. So um, I'll, I'll try to keep this in mind. Uh, I try to have my uh, live streams at night, uh, usually 11.45 p, uh, p.m. Eastern Time, 8.45 Pacific Standard Time. It's sort of my quiet time that I can work in my office because I, I might be working on a job or something like that. Uh, but if I can squeeze more of these in, uh, Ronnie, I'd be happy to do that for you. Uh, Buddha Belly says, I seem, I seem to dance it on with pencil. Uh, skip here and there. Cool. Okay. And yeah, love the show. Awesome. Yeah, no good stuff with that. Uh, that uh, Curse of Oak Island. Well, I appreciate everybody hanging out. So um, let's go ahead, and uh, that was the difference. You know, I showed you the the uh, weapons of choice that I use, you know, in terms of uh, these are pretty much the, the four major pens I use. These are my weapons of choice. Uh, like I said, I usually get all that, you know, uh, what do you call it, uh, graphite all over my hand. And so it makes it a little bit more difficult because I just rub the stuff all over the, uh, the sheet here. So if you're enjoying the live stream, please subscribe to the channel. It's super appreciate it. Hit the bell notification button so it reminds you the next time I stream and go live with videos, shorts, or whatever I have coming out. I've been trying to do a lot more shorts too. And uh, I do come to you Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays right now. And a lot of you have been joining me for that. And also too, for this particular video, hey, just drop a quick like. Quick emoji, say, yo, Polly, I love it. Give me a little heart, you know, whatever it might be. Uh, I really appreciate that. Okay, let's draw some more and have some fun here. We've been going for about 30 minutes or so. Let's get in and do some drawing now and just sort of have some fun and uh, do some drawing. And let me back that out a little bit here. I usually just pop my new page up on top, you know, when I'm drawing. And uh, let's use those tools of choice here get this sort of centered up for you guys and just sort of have some fun here um i, I tend to draw in all different types of of ways and, and different styles and, and and try stuff and i think that's where y you can get your own style is by um you know fig figuring out you you know and and find those uh 
there's there's ways that you work and 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 uh, you work best um i have certain techniques and stuff i do you know so if I, i'm drawing a a man's head or, or whatever it might be like this here i'll just work a, a a certain way I think with pens you have to be just just pretty much committed to uh, how, how you how you work and your style Like I said, I'll, I'll do a drawing like this if I, I'm drawing, and then I'll just come back in and I'll just add a little bit of this little bit of uh, Bit of highlights, you know, to, to, to make it work. For yourself, and I do this in my boards too, because a lot of people say, "Well, you're not doing a, a what do you call it? A, a, you're not using patterns or shapes when you're drawing." I sort of I see it in my head already when I'm drawing. It's just all the practice you put in sometimes, and sometimes I'll go back in. You know, and, and sort of what I'm talking about is I'm not drawing, a, a, you know, a, a shape like this. It's usually like when you're drawing a face, oh, it's, it's, a, it's a mask, and, you know, this is how we draw, and, you know, the eyes go here. I, I'll just sit there and I'll just draw. I see it in my mind's eye already, you know, in terms of how, how I see it. I don't need to draw those construction lines. Sometimes I do, you know. Uh, but most of the time I, I don't. If I'm just drawing, you know, I don't need to do all this extra extra work for this. You know, if I'm drawing this, I already see it in my mind's eye. I'm already going to draw it, so I don't I don't see it. What I mean by the construction line, and that's just practice. Like if I if I'm drawing the head, usually you're you know head to ear, and you're drawing all those construction lines and things like that. I usually tend not to, to do that. I just sort of keep rolling, you know what I mean? Um, and uh, in terms of uh, the drawing I'm doing, I just have some fun. And I can always add some mustache or beard choice, whatever it might be. It almost looks like a like a Reed Richards now from a Fantastic Four. Let's just, what the heck, make it from. Just make it Fantastic Four. There we go. <laughs> Isn't they, they had somebody just, they're working on that Fantastic Four movie. That'll be interesting to see. So many people were attached to it. I'll have to go check it out and see what the latest is. But you sit there and do it like that. And sometimes, you know, when I'm drawing and stuff, if I'm thinking of boarding and stuff like that, I'll just, I go and just, I'll drop that the shot in there and sort of put that uh, bounding box, you know, that picture frame and stuff like that on there. So, okay, there's one drawing there. Let's continue drawing, you know, and just sort of having some fun as we're drawing here. Give myself a little space. We'll keep working clean. Let's just try, I'd like to try a beauty drawing over here. Let me move some of these.
pens over. I hope you guys are having fun with the live stream. Drop it in the chat. Let me know you're enjoying yourselves or if you're drawing along or what you're up to. What mischief you're up to. And uh, if you're having a good time with this. Okay, let's draw sort of a, a female face here. And uh, sort of a beauty. Beauty face. You can sort of see what I'm, what I'm thinking and sort of just sort of see the commitment cool Ronnie says I'm drawing along that's cool and Jose Segura how you doing working on some client work uh, for shadow run cool awesome so like I said I use this this pen to sort of Knock down the I got to do a tutorial on just makeup and and stuff. I love drawing fashion stuff and uh, all that. That's why I like just drawing with a pen. It's uh, it keeps it uh, right on the money, man. You got to be committed to what you're doing. I think. Uh, Buddha Belly said it best. Just got to commit. Just rock this thing. And this is what gets you faster, too, as an artist. You know, you're, you're just. And that's where all that practicing comes into play, too, friends. It's like when you're practicing all the time. I'm starting to run out of ink on this pen. But with that practice, you're. you're, you're you don't have to think so much, you know what I mean? It's like, you can just have, you can just draw these characters out really and knock it out quick. Cause you already know what you're doing, you know? Even if I'm trying to. finish her face or whatever it might be. I always love the, uh, she has it, just the big earrings and stuff. Sort of got the idea. <laughs> I 
or Buddha belly sin yag talking about the commitment to shadow yeah we're gonna commit <laughs> Because we want that image to pop. Like she has some sort of scarf on or some sort of fancy dress. I just think it's it's so important to, to practice your sketching all the time. You'll just get better at what you're doing every day. And then you just sort of you think about these things in your in your you don't even think about it anymore. So when I'm drawing, I just do it, you know. We, we take it for granted for the computer, you know, and uh, doing these drawings. And sometimes I go off the rails, too, and I, I have so much, so, so much fun. And if I'm doing like a... You know, just start adding so much detail. I always like a pretend when I draw. I always do uh, love drawing. Um, thinking about uh, comics and illustration from the nineteen uh, sixties and seventies. Just I loved love that. I was just talking to my wife about it. Just like, just the feathering of inks and just cool lashes and just having fun with it. Just, you can do so much with this stuff. Cool. I usually just Make her dress pink. Just having fun with this. I hope everybody's having a great time and having a great day and hanging out and just chillaxing and stuff. If you're enjoying what you're watching, friends, don't forget to, to like this video and uh, super appreciate that. You know, just subscribe to the channel. And uh, like this video, drop me a quick little emoji, say what's up, and have some fun. If you're so inclined, uh, I, I'm, I'm uh, going to be working with you folks. Um, I'm trying to put together some um, membership programs and things like that, and uh, I'll probably be reaching out. Uh, I'm trying to put together like an email list, uh, but if you'd like to email me and... Uh, you know, uh, I'd love to hear your feedback on uh, possibly putting together a membership program. So there's some uh, tiers, and I'd like to reach out to you friends out there uh, that are part of my live streams, part of my uh, channel, and I'd love to get your feedback, of, you know, because I, I think it needs to be both uh, the, the teacher and the student, the mentor and the apprentice, you know, and I'd love to hear your feedback of how I can help you. Um, I'll leave you with my contact information at the end of the uh, live stream here, but I'd love to hear your feedback because I, I, I might be doing a, a founder's membership program and, uh, you know, with the memberships, how, how you see something like on Patreon. I did sign up for that uh, buy me a coffee and because uh, I love drinking coffee, as you see. And uh, it is pretty much, I just have a tip program up right now. So if you like what you see, I'm not sponsored by Buy Me A Coffee or anything like that. But if you like what you see and you want to help support me, keep this going. I'd love to be able to do more of this stuff with you good friends. Drop me a coffee. It's pretty simple. And uh, it's sort of my tip donation uh, jar there. But I really want to, to build up uh, our community and build up... Um, uh, a membership program with you good friends because I got a lot of you out there that I've either either spoken to you via email or I've already spoken to you one-on-one -on -one, and you'd like to get more in-depth in visual storytelling or your art but I'd love to hear your feedback so please reach out to me via email I'll leave you with that link uh, at the end of the, the uh, show here uh, but I'd uh, love to, to uh, get your feedback uh, on that and uh, be able to, to, to provide value for you so you can go on your journey and uh you know keep going with what you're doing okay um 
Ronnie says, uh, are you a Jack Kirby fan? Yeah, I love a lot Jack Kirby. Um, I would say uh, when it comes to um, drawing characters, uh, Robert McGinnis um, is a big fan. He did a lot of uh, fancy movie posters uh, that I love. Um, from James Bond to all sorts of, I just love his style. He's, I, I, I like that that arena too 1960s and 70s you know if i'm seeing like a you know a coppola movie or quentin tarantino jackie brown you know i mean that, that sort of uh that gritty cool you know rat pack uh sinatra sort of sort of you know style to a, a lot of uh images and if you see my drawings are sort of more old school you know but i am a big jack kirby fan uh, I think other artists, you know, that is uh, John Buscema, you know, um, but there's just there's so many, you know, Hal Foster. There's just so many different artists out there uh, who did like the early Tarzan, Flash Gordon, you know, um, early, you know, golden age of comics and uh, having fun. Um, just to name a few, Ronnie was asking, awesome, any other favorite comic artists oh, gosh there there's so many and it depends on um where i'm at and i'm always looking and and looking at different artists and, and doing master studies too of uh of folks um i've always uh, today i would say a lot of that the, you know golden age uh comic artists are favorites of mine uh, i also was on uh, when i was doing working in comic books and doing interactive comics i was a big image guy and loved image comics and you know and uh, all that all that work and you know i was a big fan of jim lee's uh chase scott campbell man i just loved his <laughs> the way he did gen 13 and as he struck off and did started doing uh, all of his uh female drawings and things like that. Uh, one of my favorite comic artists, a lot of Spanish comic artists, um, would be uh, somebody like uh, uh, Pepe Gonzalez. Uh, he did the uh, work on Vampirella. I, I just love his style. And you'll see that in, in uh, some of my work and, and how I draw, you know, uh, women or women's faces and things like that. Um, you usually see that. Let me see if I can pull that off real quick for you. It's just, he has this like, when we're talking about favorite artists and stuff, let's just sort of, he has that like a swooping, let's see if I can get that, that line right. Swooping, no, that's not it. Keep trying that. It's like a, there's a certain line that he does, and it's just like, Sort of like this. Yeah, I don't remember how. And in, in, in Pepe's work, it's just, it's, it's beautiful, you know. This is sort of a poor version of his work, but I just loved. Pepe Gonzalez's work, it's just. You'll know what I, what I mean, but.
your eyes a little too low, but that's okay. You get the idea. I just, I just love that that sweeping. You know that. Just had it there, and it's just those eyes and stuff. This is, I just love those eyes. There we go. Um, Ronnie says, uh, personally love Jim Lee, Neil Adams, Todd McFarlane, and Jack Kirby. Yeah, no, I would say, yeah, of course, you know, for me, it would be uh, uh, Jim Lee, it would be um, Greg Capullo, uh, who worked with Todd uh, McFarlane. I just, I liked uh, Greg Capullo's work, um, J. Scott Campbell. Um, Travis Cherist, um, I'm trying to think of uh, Bruce Tim. You know, I, for those of you that like the Batman animated series, Bruce Tim. Uh, just going off. Um, gosh, uh, trying to think of everybody off the top of my head. There's, there's uh, just just thinking. Um, who's the latest guy? I gotta, I gotta look at my phone just to see who the latest guys are. Uh, there's, there's, uh, there's a lot of people too that I'm just, I'm, I'm loving their work. The, the um, gosh, what's his name? Um, but it just goes on and on, and just the li list of people I love, you know, Elfquest, you know, uh, Morbius, you know, uh, they're, they're just, there's just so many people, you know, uh, just out there that have influenced me in my artwork, in uh, my style. Um, you know, uh, Bill Watterson, you know, uh, Lauren just, uh, Buddha Belly just mentioned they grew up far side, Calvin and Hobbes now getting into action. Yeah, I love Calvin. I, I think, uh, Bill Watterson had some of that. I was, I went to the, uh, Charles Schultz Museum out in, uh, uh, in California and, uh, enjoyed that. Did a tour, uh, met, uh, I think it's Scott Kurtz who did uh, PVP and was able to meet, he's a comic, uh, or a online comic artist, uh, Scott Kurtz. I went out to meet him over at the uh, Car uh, the Charles Schultz Museum. Um, and uh, that, that was fun, uh, you know, but Calvin Hobbes with uh, Bill Watterson's work, his ink work was just, just beautiful. And uh, what, when I look at his work, it's just, wow. But uh, let's continue on a little bit. Let's draw a little bit more while we're together. And uh, draw a little bit more here. And I, ho I hope you guys are getting a lot out of this lesson and, uh, you know, hanging out and sort of just drawing and. I think you just got to be committed, I think, at the end of the day. With your lines, however way you're drawing.
You'll see me when I'm doing the when I'm doing drawings or in storyboarding or whatever I might be doing. You'll see me use a lot of these uh, simple hacks. Because we're always talking about creating fast images. what's up with me too. I always like drawing crazy earrings. <laughs> My wife will be like, oh, there he goes again with the crazy earrings. Hope you guys are getting a lot out of this lesson and just sort of enjoy hanging out and The other thing too is we're, we didn't talk about much about the Copic marker. I'll throw in there a, a Copic marker at times just to just to draw some uh, 
shadow in my drawings too. So again, if you're enjoying yourself and you've been enjoying these these uh, this live stream, please consider subscribing. Uh, drop a comment into this particular video. Give me a thumbs up if you want to see more of these uh, sort of sketch snorkels. And uh, so yeah, just let let me know. Appreciate that. Cool. But again, you know, I, I use some simple tools. I'll use a pen. I'll use a sharpie. Use a chisel marker. And uh, use a uh, like a grayscale Copic marker or something like that. You know, and that just it helps you stay committed to your drawing. And uh, terms of what I'm doing. Buddha Belly says, yeah, yeah, let's see some more, buddy. That's okay, cool. So I just think working with the pen just makes it easier for you folks when you're drawing. I find it easier to stay committed. To what I'm doing. <laughs> That's a finger, not a thumb. <laughs> I just think you can be more committed to your lines. Whether for drawing something for the king. Crazy King. And using those this the simple drawing tools to uh, tell your story. So again, if you enjoyed yourself, consider subscribing to the show and to the channel. Super appreciate you. If you so and feel inclined to drop a uh, a coffee to me, link is bef link is in the description. And uh, 
have some fun with that. And uh, if you'd like to reach out to me via email, it would be sort of my uh, part of my founders community for my membership that I'm going to be getting going here soon. And you want some one on more one on one learning tutorials, how to do these things, how to become a story artist, those type of things, how to work on your artwork. Uh, please drop me an email. I love to start collecting. Uh, I'll probably have a giveaway or something and uh, get you on a, a waiting list for that too. So um, we're going to have some fun with that. Okay. Well, we got this uh, crazy king going on here. Now that we're all warmed up and having fun. Uh, so a couple more comments here. I'm going to close it out for the night. Um, Jose says, how does one go about looking for storyboard work for advertisers? It seems pretty easy to find jobs for animation and even film. But where do advertisers usually post to? Um, check out some of the um, websites. Um, Famous Frames and uh, other um, sites like that for advertisers. Uh, you know, they usually have an agent representation most of the time, and uh, you know, agents are able to secure you that way. So, check it out that way. And uh, you know, most of the stuff is going to agency, but be careful too, Jose. A lot of these advertisers are going to AI and stuff like that too. So, just be careful and be mindful of that too. Um, if you don't mind the question, yeah, not a problem. Yeah, happy, happy to answer it for you too. Uh, I'll, I'll be going over a lot of this stuff in my uh, private membership programs too. Uh, but uh, so yeah, please do reach out uh, via email and uh, I will leave you with that information and uh, have some fun with that. I hope you guys had a great time tonight. I enjoyed uh, hanging out with you for an hour or so. Uh, again, subscribe to the channel. Uh, be a part of our, our community over here. Um, you know, like I said, subscribe. Uh, you know, uh, hit that bell notification button, drop a like, drop a comment on this particular video. I'd love to, to, to hear your feedback of how you like the traditional uh, sense. I think it's super, super important to work on those digital, you know, excuse me, the traditional drawings, man. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, work on those, you know, get those sketchbooks out, do cafe sketches, go out, draw in real life, draw, you know, have fun creating your own characters and that type of work. This stuff is super important as you go forward in your visual storytelling career and uh, having some fun with it. If you want to drop me a coffee, drop me a coffee. Link is below. And if you're interested in reaching out and uh, being part of my founders community, uh, please uh, email me uh, and say, Paul, I want to be a part of it. I'll tell you how to get a part of it uh, once I get those things going. But I'll leave you with my uh, contact information. I want to thank everybody that's joining me today. I got Buddha Belly, my buddy. Hey, thanks for joining in. Ronnie, I had Jose jumping in. I uh, had Ronnie, always a pleasure to see Ronnie jump on. Uh, she's been with me since the very, very beginning. Nakeem Morrison, thanks you so much. Blissful soul, always a pleasure to have you. Again, friends, keep drawing, keep telling your stories. This is your story now to tell. Uh, I hope this was a, a useful video for you. And I will see you, uh, I believe it's tomorrow night, Thursday night, for our sketching after hours. And I'll try to sneak these in every now and then that I can or whenever I have a free moment. Other than that, you guys have a fantastic night. Enjoy your evening. Get drawn, friends, and I will see you on the next live stream. Let me leave you the contact information, and uh, we'll close it out.